And now for the dramatic conclusion of the Tegan and Sarah interview. So Tegan, um, Sarah, right, um, Sarah, um, what is something that only you know about Tegan that nobody else would know just from, you know, being a fan of hers, for example? Okay, like you mean like something that the fans don't know? Yeah, something a fan doesn't know. And meanwhile, you should be thinking something about Sarah. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, you, oh, then guess who's going to Go to Tegan, go to Tegan. Okay, great. Oh, there's a lot of things about Sarah that people don't know. Okay. Okay. The first thing is? Number one. Number one is that she, when she was seven or eight or so, for about two years, she had to wear a retainer. Okay, cool. Let me yeah. see those teeth. Mm -mm. Nope, I'll show you mine. <laughs> They're straight on top, see? Sort of. Got it. Oh, you did. Guess what? Though you, you we were, were mm -hmm. middle class retainer. <laughs> Look at this. Middle class retainer. <laughs> wow. No, no I retainer for the bottom. I would say that's like a food stamps teeth. retainer. No, <laughs> no retainer for the bottom one. It's because she was losing all the time. What I was gonna say. So Sarah had a retainer, and but you really act shocked by my teeth. I mean, they're not like. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just a couple. No, of they're them. not like that. No, my I have an overbite. I never, I never went for braces. I was supposed to have them. Oh, we can I... wear braces. Oh, like that. Yeah. Just retainer. Retainer, just a retainer. Just, I don't even know what it does. It retains. At least something. you could afford that. At least it was not just like some yeah. guy pushing up against your teeth constantly. You know? <laughs> guy. What? Some poor so every night when you go to bed, so some guy just some like, guy. Oh, like some guy shows up at my house paid, and he pushes, to lean over you teeth. and just push down on your teeth real hard. You know that would be now, terrible. Is, is that what made you gay? Was that something like that happened to you when you were a kid? Um, was that what made you gay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you know what made me gay? I I I was uh, I was taught tolerance in school. <laughs> <laughs> that made me gay. I was like, I gotta get me some of that uh, bojine. You know what I mean? Bojine. Right, we have five more minutes. We have five more minutes. Maybe we have, have fast. fast. We have however long. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's good job. Good work. Look at that. Somebody's mm -hmm. pulling my soul. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There. Here we go. Yeah, please, Chris. <laughs> he thinks he's in charge. Thanks. You know what I mean? These guys are like, we want to hang out with her. <laughs> she is a lady. Sarah, yeah, she wants to hang out with you longer. Oh, oh my God, good point. Good point. Is it kind of like that you just like are afraid to be apart from me now, or? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. If you could sleep with one famous lesbian. Why, why lesbian? Why? I'm gonna ask the next question okay, next. Okay, okay, okay. Famous lesbian. We are already, we're already getting, you know, contentious. I mean, why limit me? Sexual tension. No. <laughs> why am I the only one laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it, right? Okay, right, right, right. Oprah. Um, Oprah? Oprah. You that, She's the famous lesbian you would sleep with? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think she's a lesbian. I do. Okay, she says Oprah. Um, Penelope Cruz. She is not a lesbian. You I guys, think you think she's a lesbian? Yeah, I do. And you didn't say ones that let are. Let me, let me. I'm gonna take a wild guess about these two. You didn't say certified out in the public they, media. Lesbian. My, here's my guess lesbian. about these two. They date a lot of straight girls. <laughs> no way. Yep. Seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just nodded over there, I'm just going to say. Um, and if you could date one non-lesbian, who could it be? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now you're going to be like, Rosie. Uh, <laughs> a non-lesbian. I wasn't like expecting you to say me in the last question. Okay, okay, I got, I got it, I got it. Um, Kate Blanchett. Totally. That's a good one. She's, She's a good I'd pick her too. I would totally pick her too. You pick her too? Um, I would also pick her. Sensible. Like I her smell up. a 4 <laughs> <laughs> That is like a three-way with a little bit more. 4 She, she four seems G. serious, but she would really bust you on some <laughs> You know, like she would... What does that mean, bust you on like some Like she would just like stare. She would get... She's like, you know, she's smart. Look, I'm all flustered. She's smart. Like you she'd know? get into your head? Like she would just like... She would be very calm and composed and she would listen to you and she would have lots of great advice. She wouldn't be... That's how you would be... <laughs> She wouldn't be. <laughs> These are prerequisites Everyone's for sex. Everyone's face is disgusting right now. No, but you know, like you she would, would be listen to you, give you good advice. <laughs> like she's smart. probably gonna take my pants off. No, no, but you know, like we could read the paper and like talk about stuff, and I would have there would be things that I would know more about, but then she would also know things about. Right, them, right, so. right. That sounds really sexy. <laughs> Um, okay. You guys, it's time to play everyone's favorite gay and lesbian related game show. Who's gayer? Woo! <laughs> Let's do it with us though. Okay, do it, do it. Okay, who's gayer, Tegan or Sarah? No, that, what do you think I'm doing that's right now? Game. Oh, that is wow. a game. Yeah, that's that's the whole game. <laughs> Jeez. This I one. thought you were.
hey, gonna get a waterfall. She's never watched your show. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> point. I have a good idea. Did you know that I'm the beef for his hair? No, she no. Doesn't I don't know any of this. I forgot that you doesn't uh, that make me at all mysterious that I just like operate in a different world? Like well, a cowboy. Mysteries are rude. Like a cowboy. Mysteries are rude. <laughs> no, it doesn't make you mysterious. It um said like a cowboy. It just makes me like Tegan more. I don't care, which is what I like. I like it when other people like Tegan because then once in a while. A little head pops up and it's someone who likes me. Oh! And then I become my wife for five years. Just five day. <laughs> Sarah <laughs> admitted on stage the other night that she wants to have multiple relationships, I multiple do. marriages. Really? Sarah, I don't want to be with the same person for my whole life. No way. No way, Jose. Well, if that doesn't make you want to date Sarah <laughs> and fall in love with her, <laughs> I'm sorry. You can get your heart broken. I'm sorry, all. America, for being honest. No one wants to. It's like five years in, everyone's like, yikes. <laughs> Ladies, what is the first thing you do when you get up in the morning? Work out, eat breakfast, or peel yourself off of another woman? <laughs> is this like an honesty thing? Is yeah, this yes! Honest? Answer oh. the question! Eat breakfast. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd probably eat breakfast as well. No, I'm just kidding. I'm peeling myself off. That's of right! <laughs> That's one point for Tegan. Raymond, you're keeping score. Oh, right Thank you very much. Okay, ladies, do you have more than five tattoos? Yes. It's not, it's not a competition, we both give our answers <laughs> and then they decide. I think she just wants to slap me. She wants to put your hand in my leg. I don't understand the rules. No one yeah. gave me any rules to the game. You have a bell on your leg. What do you want me to say? I thought it was <laughs> Jeopardy. Wow. We like both have five ish. tattoos. You both have five tattoos? I have more than five tattoos. Well, we both have more than five tattoos. You both, how many do you have? Six. How many do you have? Eight. Sarah. Ladies, if you were going to get married, would you wear... A traditional white dress, a tasteful tuxedo, or your wife's vagina like a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'd probably say my wife's vagina <laughs> like a hat. Tegan, that's another point for Tegan. <laughs> On your honeymoon, would you vacation in Hawaii, in Tahiti, or at the Michigan Women's Music Festival? <laughs> None. I would go to Spain. Tegan, Hawaii. That's actually gayer. That's actually gayer. I'm going to vote that as gayer. Sarah, you better start diking it up. Right about now. <laughs> Have you ever had a nipple, tongue, or V-hole piercing? No. No. <laughs> when exercising, do you box? Do you lift weights? Or do you do this? Wow. Is that sex? <laughs> Tegan gets the point. <laughs> Tegan gets the point. Sarah... I think you might be into unicorns. <laughs> okay, ready, Rosie or Ellen? Oh, Ellen. Rosie. <laughs> that is gayer, because Ellen is like one of those converters, you know what I mean? <laughs> Portia or Leisha? Oh, Leisha. They both get the point, because that's just, you know. Um, I mean, I love Portia. But yeah, I love Portia too, but Leisha, so cute. Yeah. Liz or Raimi? <laughs> Liz. I'll just know her better. Liz. Sarah gets the point. <laughs> I needed to pick up some points. Tegan will talk about the show. Ready? Ladies, what's your favorite party game? Charades, celebrity, or pin the tail on the dikey? Charades. <laughs> Is that a different kind of charades that I'm not aware of? I mean, Is there any question? That's just what, that's the best part of you, charades. I pick charades as well. It was a fun game. Interesting. I would pick pin the tail on the dikey. That's one point for me. I just entered the game. <laughs> Last question for Halloween. You dressed as a sexy witch, a slutty cat, just legs dangling out of another woman's vagina. <laughs> I went as a ghost the last time I had. I've been a, I've been a s s slutty kitten. I mean, it was... You were younger than 11, you were about 7. I get the point, I went as just legs dangling <laughs> out of another woman's vagina.